So this is my new favorite. Um, and uh, this is a multiple representation. So I'm going to try to give a little sense of the principles by doing it. And um, this is really small here. Oh, there's my numbers. So I'm just going to play you a little piece for a second, OK? And I want you to understand that piece, OK? That's our goal, understand this piece. Well, when I took my finger off, I lost it. OK. It's hard to do when you're looking at this screen. OK, try to understand this. Okay, so if you're like most people, you don't understand that. It's a lot of noise. You're not sure it sounds okay, but not sure what's going on. So what I want to do is show you a beautiful multiple representation of that piece, which does give you, again, alternate ways to get into this, okay? So here's our principles again, and uh, we're gonna do a not everything. You never do everything. We're gonna do a few of the things. One is we're gonna provide alternatives for, that was auditory. So you had to get it through your ears only. So what we're gonna do is do a multiple representation that says, let's use vision too. Why not? We can do it with new media. So we're gonna have an alternative for auditory information. And we're gonna do a couple of other things. We're gonna clarify the syntax and structure. One of the options we can do for kids is to give, do things that help them understand the structure of what's going on. And also, we're going to illustrate through multiple media. We're going to have multiple media going on, OK? So now some of you are saying, oh, I don't think that's going to make it easier. That's going to make it harder. So we'll see. Um, so I'm going to play this piece now um, with multiple representations. And uh, this is, uh, well, it'll say what it is. This is Bach. Another minute. this part. Watch how it clarifies the structure. Okay. Oh, cool. Isn't that nice? <laughs> A multiple representation because vision is really different. It allows you to see things that are hard to hear. And uh, that's what we're going to be trying to do when we talk about multiple representations. But I want to go a little bit deeper into this piece because it gets even cooler. Um, so um, if you, I forgot to tell you too, if you have your guideline sheets, remember at the bottom, Options for comprehension, where we really want to get everybody, okay? That's what we're aiming for. The first part's just clarifying, getting, making sure that you have access to it is, uh, is, is critical. But what we want kids to do is understand things. We don't want them just to have access to them. That's not our goal. So I'm going to do some things to help you understand that piece even more. Um, and uh, once I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight here. I'm going to activate some background knowledge for you because that is one of the things that allows you to come into something and understand it. So I'm going to give you some background knowledge. Secondly, 
Um, another thing that's on those guidelines in front of you, I hope, is one of the things you do in a UDL thing is you highlight, make them more obvious, critical things, critical features, critical um, patterns, or the big ideas. We highlight them so it's um, more accessible to see what the big idea here in all of this information is. And lastly, or not lastly, but the last thing I'm going to show is guiding information processing, visualization, and manipulation. Guiding, providing a little guidance. Here's where to look. Here's how you can process this, OK? So now, I want to go back to that piece. Oop. Here's the background knowledge. Some of you that are music people know this, but lots of you don't. So as you good teachers will often do, I'm going to preload. I'm going to give you a little background knowledge so that when the piece comes, you'll be better able to uh, understand it. So this is a fugue you're going to be hearing. So some of you know what a fugue is, some of you don't. Fugue, a, compo a composition built on a theme that is introduced at the beginning, repeated in different voices and contexts, and recurs frequently in the course of the composition. So a fugue is always like that. There's going to be a single theme. It's very short. And you're going to hear it again and again and again, but in very different contexts. So it will sound different. And the theme might even be altered a bit. But you'll see the same theme. A fugue is just a theme that's repeated a whole lot of times in many different ways, different voices, different contexts. OK? So that's background knowledge. We could have attached it digitally to the, um, um, to the thing, but I told you. OK? And now I'm going to guide your information processing a little bit. But first, I've got to get to a part of the piece that I was playing for you. Uh, Oh, watch how great this is, by the way. Let me just start it. I'm going to skip over the parts we've heard. The nice thing is, it gives you a way to, well, I can't grab the, uh, there we go. Watch, I can see the whole piece. Isn't this beautiful? That's the piece I said to watch. So this is the prelude, and I want to go right up to the fugue. Isn't it beautiful visually? OK, here's the end. You're going to hear just the last chord of the prelude and start the fugue. And right away, there's the theme. That's the theme. Bang, there it is again in orange. Now they dance together a little bit, playing off each other. And can you see the theme coming again? There it is in purple. Now this is just a little repeat of it, upside down, three times. It just says, we can do it upside down. a little dance together. Can you see the theme coming? Down deep in the bass now. There it is in the bass. Little dance together. Here comes in the middle, the orange middle voices. Sorry, I just want to, don't have enough time to do everything. Lots well, of cool piece. Um, I wanted to start just where exactly I played you when I started. And you'll see that, oh my God, in the middle of that was the theme. Here's where we listen. There it is again. Upside, oh no, right side. Here it comes again in blue. You can play it on your own. I'll tell you where to get it. It's, it's on the slides. Um, and oh, Grace is putting it on. It's already on. All right. Um, there are 60 of these. 
all sorts of great works in the uh, American music. And I tell you, the next one I would do, I love this one, but listen to Beethoven's Fifth done this way. Sit around with your family. I, I, I've done it actually with a friend who's a musician, a composer, and he had never seen it. And even he went, oh my God, I never understood that whole passage before. And this is a very trained musician.